Hi all and welcome to a new video. In this video, we will see two methods to avoid divide by zero error in SQL. We know that when we divide a number by zero, it leads to infinity. But actually that's not right and we won't get any valid result. So a similar case can happen in SQL when we write some query. So we'll see how to overcome that SQL divide by zero error in this video. For that, we are going to create a table which is sales zero error and it has three columns. The first column is item, second is current year sales and the next column is previous year sales. And I have already created the table and inserted data into the table. Let me query the table and then I will take you through the exact data and what we are trying to calculate here. So the table is sales zero error. Let us select all the records from this table because this table only has some four records. It's giving me an invalid object name error because uh, here the database is master. I already have this use in question database statement. So simply execute this. Then it will use the inquest database because the table is present in this database. Now I have queried the table and the table has three columns. First column is item, the second column is current year sales and the third column is previous year sales. So here the question is calculate the growth rate for each item with respect to current year. So we are trying to calculate the growth rate. For that let us start writing the query. Select the first column is item, second column is current year sales, third column is previous year sales. And this is from the table sales zero error. Now we have to write an equation to calculate the growth rate. So the growth rate equation will be like current year sales. Let me copy the column name current year sales minus previous year sales. Let us put this inside a parenthesis and this value divided by previous year sales. This is the equation and let us multiply this with 100 so that we will get a percentage value otherwise we will get a ratio as percent growth now let us try to execute this query and see what is the result now this will not give us any result because we have a divide by zero error encountered it's because we have a zero value in the previous year, year sales column what happened here is whenever the value of previous year sales is zero the denominator becomes zero and it cannot divide any number with zero because that time it leads to an infinity and that is not a valid result so now here we have to deal with this zero values for the previous year sales so here the first method we are going to see is using the null if method so let us copy this query and what happens here is so we'll substitute this previous year sales along with a null if function so the basic syntax for null if function is null if expression 1 comma expression 2 so it will compare both the expression 1 and expression 2 and if these two expressions are equal then the value will be replaced by null so that is going to happen here so what we are going to do here is instead of this previous year sales we are going to use a null if function let us put this previous year sales inside a parenthesis now when the previous year sales is zero that is the second expression it will be substituted by a null so that is what is going to happen here now let us execute this once again let us see if the error is again coming no now the query does not give us an error without any error we were able to execute the query because here whenever the value is zero it has been substituted by a null uh, so that we have the result that is percentage growth as null this is the first method and also here now if we want to change this percentage growth into a valid percentage value what we can do here is we can simply convert it into an int so this is the easiest method convert int comma and close the parenthesis now we will have a integer value in the percentage growth column this is it so for pen it's 25 percentage growth and coming to pencil we cannot actually measure the percentage growth because previous year pencil was not at all sold and coming to paper the percentage growth is minus 11 that is it is a negative growth the sales has decreased and coming to book also previous year sales is zero so the percentage growth is 
null. Now going to the second method. The second method is based on case statement. That is case statement. We will copy the same query. What we are going to do here is using the case statement, we will substitute the zeros with nulls. That is, so, so instead of this previous year sales, what we are going to do is let us write that separately. Then we will copy and paste it over here. That is case when let us copy this previous year sales equal zero. Sorry, yeah, equal zero. Then null. The next condition is else previous year sales and let us end this let us copy this entire case statement we don't want this parenthesis we will copy this and we will paste it here instead of this previous year sales now what happens is whenever the value is zero it will be substituted by a null and in all other cases the previous year sales will be the same value itself now let us run this query hopefully we'll get the same result yeah we have the same result and now we can do the same thing convert open parenthesis input the data type then close the parenthesis now we will get an integer value in the person growth column now we have the similar result so so these are the two methods by which we can deal the divide by zero error in sql